Well, we're going to start today with some news of an update and an imminent update at that. Oh, excellent. This is what I'm going to call the Voucher DLC because it's basically that as the name would suggest. Now, it's going to be imminent because it's going to happen on Tuesday, Tuesday the 6th of September. Oh, that is right around the corner. So it's going to be update 1.7.1, and it's basically equipment from Voucher. So the first one we got from Fact Sheet Fridays as well is the A series. So it's got a 105 to 135 horsepower engine, 76 and a half grand to buy. It's going to do 24 mile an hour. That's all right. Then the second one is the Voucher T series, 210 to 271 horsepower. 179 and a half grand to bike, 31 mile an hour top speed. The third one is going to be the N series, 145 to 201 horsepower, 110 grand to buy, 31 mile an hour top speed. And the new boy on the block, because this is what it's all centered around, because the Voucher Q series, which has just been announced and released, which is excellent, new one from them in real life. So this is going to be 230 to 305 horsepower, 202 grand to buy, 31 mile an hour top speed. And they look brilliant oh i can't wait till tuesday all right so on to the mods so the first one we got today is system hall this is by user triple five 17.98 megabyte on the download you're going to find it in the construction menu and under buildings and sheds so we'll scroll along to find it there it is 150 grand to place down now this is big really big i mean that's on the start farm on Owl creek and it takes up the majority of that field by the house but all right I do like it. Now you've got three big doors and a side door downside. And then one big door and a side door here. Now you can't open these big doors from the outside. What you need to do is go into the side door. Like that. It's exactly the same on the other ones down that side. You come in and you go to the chain. There you are. Open gate. Jobs are good in. Oh, I like that. You've actually got to go to the direct point where you normally would open it. That's ace. We come over here, we've got some lights, so left stick in, turn the lights on, very nice, and we'll come down here, this one you can open up fairly close, and all these again, right by the chain, open that one, open that one, and then open that one. Now the whole premise behind this shed, is obviously a bit of storage, yeah, very nice, and you've got these dividers, they're not bunker silos, but there's somewhere you can store your crop. So you've got three different sections there. That you can store different loose crop if you wanted to. Just reverse the trailer in and dump it all down. Oh, I like that. That is a nice shed. Big, mind you, but it is a nice shed. Very nice. Right, next up is House in the Shed. This is by Zero Rito. 11.14 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it in the construction menu and on the buildings and farmhouses. Because it is a house in the shed. 55 grand to place down. Now, this is brilliant. It reminds me of something when I was a kid. You know, picture your perfect house. And mine was always going to be garage downstairs, you know, fast cars, motorbikes, and then, you know, a flat or an apartment upstairs. This is it. This is my perfect childhood house in a game. Oh, I love it. But it does come at a cost. And I don't mean the 55 grand. Because this, 78 slots. Obviously, slots is a big thing on console, but still, I think it's worth it. Oh, I'd definitely give up 78 slots for this. So you come over here, you've got a door, you can go inside like that. Nice little carport on the side as well. And you've got this massive door. Absolutely huge. And the only thing I'd say about that is you open that door during the winter, all the warmth is going to get out. And the cost of gas and electric at the minute. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Oh, a bit on topic there with that one. Shocking. Now, once you get inside, though, nice big area inside. Nice big area for some tall harvesters, if you want to place one of those. Or place, reverse one of those in there. Yeah, I mean, you've got these gubbins down here. And looks like a bit of a workshop. There is no workshop trigger. Well, you should be able to fit one in. There's one that's just the trigger itself should be able to get that on the floor no problem and you come over here turn your shed lights on left stick in yeah then we'll come up the stairs here and this oh and i'm stuck go on there we are this is your flat or your apartment this is my childhood house i would love to have 
in living in this. When you come over here, you've got a little workshop, you got a little arcade game. You come to the set E or the couch, whatever you want to call it, there's your sleep trigger. You've even got a basketball. <laughs> Go play some ball. We'll come over here. Look, there's even donuts on the table. Oh, I love a donut. Oh, that is ace. If I, if I had this house growing up as a child, I would just have donuts. <laughs> Nothing else. No bread, no milk, just donuts. When you come up to the duffel bag, there's your wardrobe icon. And if you really wanted to, rather than going through the main workshop, you come down these steps like that to the outside. There's a big door there. And you have got a door around the back here as well, if you want to. I like this. I mean, 78 slots is high, yes, but this is well worth it. I think this is brilliant. Love it. Well, next up is the Lemkin Gigant 12. This is by Mixter07. 14.78 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under disc arrows. Now, this is ace. It requires 400 horsepower from your tractor, which is on the high side, I must admit. You're going to need something tasty, some large tractor with that. But, and it is a big bot, it's going to do 16 meters. Disc harrowing at 16 meter working with it. That is ace. Oh, love it. 10 mile an hour working speed, 121 grand to buy. You've got the usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. You come down, additional extinguisher, no, or oh, yes. Put it on the front there, on the framework. You then got hub colour, blue or blue. So you've got Lemkin blue or Lemkin special blue, which is a little bit darker. And you've got main colour, again, Lemkin blue or Lemkin special blue. Oh, I like the special, actually. Then you've got rim colour, red, silver or black. Let's go with silver. That is a 16 metre working width. Oh, very nice. Right, next up is Random Dolly. This is by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. 9.59 megabyte on the download. And as you can imagine, you're going to find it under Dollies. So this is going to cost you 15 grand to buy. We come to the options. We've got Wheel Brand. It's not actually a Wheel Brand. It's actually Wheel Design. So we'll scroll through those. Different options on there. Oh, that looks all right, though. Oh, <laughs> excellent. When you come down, you then got Wheel Setup, which is actually the tyre. So you've got Continental, Continental. Yeah, you go for whichever one you want to. There's a few on there. I think there's about three, isn't there? All right, fair enough. Then you've got wheel design, no. Hubcaps, hubcaps and air, or no. Arching, no. Yes, or no, if you want to tilt it up a little. Then template editing. So you've got R line, new R. Spin it around the back. There we are. R line, new R, or R lines. It changes the lights. Then you've got attacher type. This is around the front. So you've got spherical, spherical two, fifth wheel, or back to spherical. You've got fender colour. Oh, oh, yes, chrome yellow. Oh, look at the state of that. Oh, me inner magpie's coming out again. Oh, that is ace. I love that. Rim colour. <laughs> oh, let's just match it up. Oh, that is brilliant. Gold dolly. Oh, love it. Right, next up is the Lizard ASHP 11. Is that ASHP or ASHP? <laughs> well, who knows? So this is by FBR Modding and Eddie. 1.8 megabyte on the download. You're going to find it under subsoilers. So it requires 120 horsepower from your tractor. Three meter. Now, I'm going to withhold the three meter warning because on the website it says 3.2. So we'll give it a little bit of a pass on that. Seven mile an hour working speed. 8,600 to buy. There is no options. And if you're in a tight spot in a small field, yeah, you do very nice. And right, whilst we're on the subject of subsoilers, this is the Case IH14. This is by Exoblood Modding. 4.05 megabyte on the download, as you can imagine, on the subsoiler section. 245 horsepower requirement from your tractor. 5.3 meter working width. 7 mile an hour working speed, 10 grand to buy. The options you've got there are red frame colour, yellow frame colour, or back to red. And we'll come down to design. So you've got standard, two, see all the stickers on the front, three, or back to standard. Yeah, I like that. Does look all right though. Very nice. All right, next up is the Pack New Holland TX590, TC490, and TC590. 
Wow, that's a name in itself, I must admit. This is by Agrotono, 28.83 megabyte on the download. You're going to find these in two different places. So the header is going to be under harvester headers, and then the harvesters are going to be under harvesters, which is all fair enough. So if we go into there, the Superflex 20 foot. So it's got a 6 meter. A 20 foot's not a 6 meter, is it? Was it just the name, 20F? All right, fair enough. Six metre working whip, six mile an hour working speed, 34 grand. There is no options. And that's going to go on the front of one of these. So we're going to the TC490 first. So this has got a 223 horsepower engine, 26 mile an hour top speed, 6,050 litre capacity on the old grain tank. 12 on 120 and a half thousand pounds to buy. The options you've got there are usual shenanigans on the wheel brands and the tyres. But you come down to Lizard got crawler tracks oh excellent it's those sort of metal ones that you normally see on lot like rice tractors and rice harvesters ah they look okay so <laughs> love it so we come down the windows so you've got design one two three four and then back to one so just varying shades of tint and then we'll go down to additional monitor no or yes puts that in the cab and then we've got rim color so it's going to be the wheels itself Turn it black. We'll come out of that and we'll go into the TC590 because the TC and the TX are basically the same thing. I can't see what the difference is between the two. I mean, the options are the same as the previous one. What's it? The TC4. But it's got 272 horsepower engine and a 7,750 litre grain tank. 190 and a half grand to buy. That being said, oh, I do like them. Very nice. Right, and the last mod for the day is the Lizard Brazil. This is by Conta Comigo Modding. 16.29 megabyte on the download. You're going to find this under cars. Now, this looks brilliant. 200 horsepower, 49 mile an hour top speed. It's only going to cost you 55 grand. Usual shenanigans with the wheel brands and the tyres. Although the wheels do send, tend to change size as well. But, all right, fair enough. And we'll come down to the wheel setup. So you've got different options on the actual style of the wheels depending on which ones you go for. So you choose what you like. And you've got design standard, sticker one. Tell you what, we're going to change that color because that, that white is really bright in the shop. There you are, that's better. Right, so sticker one. We'll start beginning. Sticker, standard. Sticker one. Sticker two, three, or back to standard. Then you've got attaches. This is round the back. Standard or hitch. If you want to tow something. And you've got main color, obviously, any one of those. Now. This is ace because we come out of that. We'll start it off. The horn on this. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, I love this truck. This is ace. I think I might have to keep it. I might keep it in the pink as well. Oh, brilliant. Love it. I've got two updates for the date. So we've got the Agromaz PJM234 by Batson R3. And the second one is the Kroger Agrilona pack by HR Force and Falgsenbau. So that's your updates for the day. So that's your mods done for the day. Drop it in the comments below which one's your favourite. We'll see what people are looking at. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. It's muchly appreciated. But for me, that's it for today. And I'll see you in the next one.